being involved with all these community things, did you have any experiences with um, the racial divide in the town? Yes. I grew up in Washington, unfortunately, with a family that had no prejudice. So I thought the, the uh, blacks wanted to sit in the back of the bus. It never occurred to me that they had to be. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend and I always sat back there. Mm -hmm. Loved it. Um, my, when I was in college, um, integration came. Um, and I can remember being in the cafeteria when the first black boy walked in and sat by himself. And I had never forgiven myself for not going over and sitting. That brings us up to Madison High School. Preston Blackwell, which who went on to be a detective in Fairfax County, um, was one of the first black boys in the high school, black young men. And he um, joined the football team. And one of the nearby counties refused to play Madison. I've always thought it was Arlington. The principals, of course, Norm would have none of it, and the principals um, and the athletic directors got together, and as I remember it, they said, then you don't play anyone in the next county. And Arlington only had maybe two high schools, something like that. So we would have a season. So Preston got to play. Now, Preston had some bad experiences when they went further down in Virginia and the team went in to even they wouldn't let Preston in. And so he has written about that and it's it's very sad, sad time. But um, things change. My husband could no longer have social dancing in the PE program in the curriculum because they would be rich. It was just horrible times. I'm glad we're over. Mm -hmm. Now, I know in around 68 when Martin Luther King was assassinated, there were riots in Washington. Mm -hmm. So, do you remember those? Were you around? Oh, yeah, I drove through them once. Someone came over and banged on our car. Um, it was bad, and they burned, and they um, went against all the things that Martin Luther King believed in about peaceful demonstration. But, um, it's just a very, very hard time. 